Hello, this is Josh with the AJ Mirwald bringing you another episode of Science and Sailing. Today, I'd like to start a new mini-series exploring a very important member of the Bayshore ecosystem, the oyster. First of all, what exactly is an oyster? Well, if you've watched our New Jersey Seashells video, you may already have an idea. Oysters are mollusks, which are animals that have a soft, squishy body and a shell that's usually made out of calcium carbonate. The shell can either be external or internal. Mollusks include animals like cephalopods, such as squids and octopuses, gastropods like snails and slugs, and bivalves like oysters. Bivalves are all the mollusks that have two shells, hence the prefix bi, which are connected at a hinge. Can you think of any other animals with two shells connected by a hinge? Well, clams, scallops, and mussels are bivalves and they're related to oysters. Now, what sets oysters apart from these other creatures? Let's look at their shells and see if we can gain some insight. This is a clam shell. This is probably the shell that you are most familiar with seeing. Most clams like to live in salty environments like oceans or bays. They like to live in the sand or the mud and are very good at digging beneath the surface of the sand. And they use their foot in order to do that. Now once, their foot is really funny actually, their foot kind of looks like a tongue. Now once they're under the sand, they'll stick a little tube out so that they can breathe. It's a lot like a snorkel. This tube is called a siphon. You can tell clams apart from other bivalves because they have a smooth, round shell that's usually gray or white. The next one I wanna show you is a scallop. As you can see, scallops are oftentimes, not always, quite a bit larger than clams. Scallops usually live in salty oceans or bays they tend not to bury themselves, however. Instead, they live on the surface of the sand and are even capable of swimming. That's right. They can actually clap their shells together and move through the water in order to escape a predator. None of the other bivalves can do this. Scallops have a large, round, usually smooth shell that's typically pink, gray, or white. Next up is the mussel. These guys are typically a little bit smaller than the others. You'll find them in brackish environments where fresh water meets salt water. These are usually found in big clusters. They like to attach themselves to rocks, plants, piers, and even each other. They do this by creating hair-like material called bissel threads, which attach like a rope and anchor themselves down. You can tell mussels apart from the rest because they're typically smooth, small, oval, and a darker color like brown or black. Their shells are also usually thinner than the other bivalve shells. So if you look at this clam shell, you can see maybe that it's a lot thicker than this mussel shell. Finally, we have the star of this series, the oyster. Oysters usually live in salty or brackish environments, making the Delaware Bay perfect for them. They live on the bottom and attach themselves to rocks or other oysters. In fact, many times, so many oysters attach themselves to each other that they form entire oyster reefs, creating a whole new ecosystem, which is a viable habitat for many other animals like fish, and different things that like to live inside that oyster reef. Oysters are unique in that once they attach to something, they can never move again. This is called sessile. They essentially glue themselves down and stay in one place for the rest of their lives. We'll talk more about that in a future video. You can tell oysters apart from others because they are the only shells which are very rough. Oyster shells have no defined shape, 
so you can find a large variety of different shaped oysters. Their shells are usually white or gray. In the upcoming parts of this series, we'll talk about different parts of the oyster, how they eat, how they reproduce, and why they're so important to the Bayshore ecosystem. Can you think of any other differences between clams, mussels, scallops, and oysters? If so, post those in the comment section below. This has been Josh with another episode of Science and Sailing, bringing the Bayshore to you.